Doesn't that sound fun? I'm feeling better. It gets me together. Hey, it's Mads and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? I am so excited for this week's video because it is the last video in this like what turned into like a mini series here on my channel where we are making, oh, Hi, Moo! Sometimes she cries like that and I just hope she's okay. We are wrapping up this mini series here where we have been making over my home office slash filming space. And it also, the space also acts as like Jordan's like game center. And it's also where I film the bulk of my videos. All my sewing videos get filmed in this space. All my like desktop DIY videos get filmed in this space. So I really wanted to like upgrade it and elevate it for you guys and give you guys something pretty to look at other than like my face and like her face because isn't this just a most beautiful face? We are wrapping up this space. We have already gone a long way. This is my fridge. And this is the window we did in a DIY video, a, like a renter makeover video where we framed out my windows on the inside and like added this really pretty trim and I added a cafe curtain. And I also did like a renter friendly version of uh, like window panes with electrical tape and blacking out like the inside and it really elevated it and made it look like a lot fancier, which I'm really happy with. And then we, worked on actual like stuff in this space. We put up this gallery wall and mounted Jordan's computer. This is his computer and it's on like a, a thing where it can pull out and be pushed back in so he can play games out here comfortably and I can put art up on it. We made a frame for it. And then last week we refinished this desk that I think it might have been a dining table previously, but we're gonna use it as a desk. And we sanded it down, we cleaned it up, we refinished it to be darker, and we added that really pretty gold trim. I got a lot of comments from you guys like saying you guys were like, uh-oh, that's not gonna look good. And then you liked it, and I liked it too. I had a vision, and in my head, it's metal. It's not paint. <laughs> in my head, it's like a finishing detail, but I'm glad you guys liked it and enjoyed it. I thought it turned out really nice. And in this last episode, there's a few smaller things we really need to figure out. The first one being, I also want to come up with a storage solution that can stay on the desktop when the desk is like set up as a desk but hides like the visual clutter. Jordan has like extra like accessories for his gaming. I have like my hard drives and my extra little like filming, like small stuff, extra SD cards, little clips for my cameras and stuff that I like to keep all in one place and I like to keep it accessible, but I don't necessarily like wanna display it. The other element I really wanna work on is some sort of lighting element for this space. I would love a tabletop lamp. Refinish this light up here. If you can see it, this light up here, we did, we did do it, but look at this. Look how bright this is. Hold on. It's so bright. Like it, like it all, <laughs> it, it literally like, I, if we turn it on at night, you light up the street outside. Like it's just so bright that I just don't wanna have it on all the time. I would much prefer something softer that we could turn on at night and wasn't so hard on the eyes. That's a long list of things we need to figure out today. So let's jump into it. So the, oh, the first project I wanna work on are these books. I want to hollow them, like glue them together, hollow them out and then use it as like a little storage, but make it look like it's not storage. The first thing I'm gonna do here is glue all of the books together and I'm gonna hot glue them together, but just along the edges. Oh, I kind of like that. Like this is like, I'm organized and put together and that's not the vibe. This is, oh, I just picked it up and I was reading this one and I didn't put it back, right? Is that? Is that what that says? Okay, I think I'm going for it. So 
So now they're all stacked up. See, and this one's red, like the other one isn't. Oh, it is, but it's on the other side. See, yeah, I like that. I like that it's not lined up. I'm gonna put like little dollops on each corner and I'm gonna be crazy and I'm gonna press them down a little. Okay, now it's got like little dollops of feet and look, watch this. Now it doesn't like move around. You know what I mean? It anti-slip. I'm just gonna use some watered down craft glue and soak the edges of the paper. some olive oil and my flower frog on it <laughs> and hope that that's heavy enough all right we are back for day two i let this sit overnight and it is looking really good it is a big block like it is now solid all the edges are nicely glued together but everything is in good like nothing is coming apart the, this top still opens. I did tear this page off. I don't know if what I'm doing with that yet, but this comes up. Everything is good. It is nice and solid as if these books had always been bound together. They are now unreadable. Time to destroy it, like for real. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? I'm going to do this in the one way that makes the most sense to me. And that is with using my ruler, a pen, my X-Acto knife, and a drill. I woke up in the middle of the night And I wondered how you're always right It gets me Hi Um, so this took a turn Um, this is the current state of affairs I am re-gluing this book back together because, well, it came apart I, I think my mistake was gluing everything together first i thought that that would like stabilize it and make it easier like would make it easier to cut it but i think i made it worse like i shouldn't have done that like gluing it last night i should have glued it after i cut it i think i don't know i don't know if that really was my problem but it is my problem so now i've re-glued these i'm re-gluing these pages back together and i'm gonna glue i'm gonna do what i did and like cut out all the pages I'm gonna, oh, I'm just gonna take this glue off and do it without the glue on there and hope for the best. I couldn't see what you saw in me. Ooh, na, na, na. But you showed me how to believe. Still gets me. Here's where we are at. I have the top book glued up. I'm letting the glue dry. I have the center book. So this is the one that sits in the middle. So it's gotta be cut through all the way. And I'm working on the bottom book. I'm not gonna cut all the way through. I'm probably gonna cut halfway through this book, but I have learned a couple things that if you are wanting to do this, I've learned a couple of things that might be helpful to you. First things first, when you're cutting through the paper, those drill holes really do help because that helps you get into the corner. So for each side, so like from this corner to this corner, I'm gonna go over it like three times, two, three, and then I'm gonna flip it and go over it in the opposite direction in three times. One, two, three. That way I'm getting like even pressure 
all the way through the pages and I'm not I'm gonna get less snags is what I'm noticing and you're gonna have like this stuff start to build up in the corners you want to take that out hold on and I'm pushing down too on the side that I'm cutting because I want to keep all the pages as tightly packed together as possible that all the sides are cut and at this point I can kind of pick up a corner and I go until I can't grab them freely and then I pull out that chunk. And there's gonna maybe be a few more. Oh yeah, this is a good example. See all this, this little stuff? You wanna get that out. You don't wanna be cutting over that and over that again. It's just gonna make more work for you. And as you go, you can take a pair of scissors and like open it up. Weird chunks that you get, like this corner here. I'm going in with my scissors and really just nipping the corners because you don't wanna be like cutting through a million layers every time. So getting those corners clear before you keep cutting helps it go faster. I'm losing daylight and I found a cool page. Look at this. It's like little suits of armor. I thought that that would be a cute bottom. So it's not quite halfway, it's probably like a quarter or maybe a third in there. It's about another like fingers length deep. That gives me enough space. It's a cute little bottom. I'm going to do another layer of glue on this, clamp it up and glue everything back together. We will work on the lampshade next. Okay. I have the book as good as it's gonna get. I needed a break, that, I always got really frustrated. I'm sorry, it really frustrated me. I needed a brain break. I'm coming back fresh, I'm feeling better. I want to work on the lamp. I actually like the base. The base is like, I don't know if it, lo it looks porcelain, but it has the like age cracks and stuff in it. It's not stark white. It's a nice cream and I like the shape. So I'm actually not going to do anything to this bad boy. But what I'm not a huge fan of is the lampshade. I actually think it's pretty. I, I like the idea of using satin. Don't look because I have some. I like the idea of a satin lampshade. I'm just not a huge fan of this color blue in this space. I really wanted to bring in a little more softness and I'm a pink girl. I know that might be controversial. My two favorite colors are pink and green. I really love greens. I really love like warm, rich tones and jewel tones, but I love a dusty pink. Like that is, you can't, I, I, I can be as Gen Z as I want, but I'm a millennial. I'm so sorry. It's just like, there's parts of me that are so millennial. I exist in both realms and the part of me that is millennial loves pink. It gets me together. So when I was looking at these pictures in this space, this image right here actually, in this big beautiful frame is these beautiful peonies, which are one of my favorite flowers. And they're pink. So I wanted to add another pink element, maybe a couple pink elements. And why not it be the lampshade? I think pink would be really pretty. And I've got two options. I've got this darker pink option. And this is more like muted, dusty, rosy, pinky pink. And then this one is very light. It is like a creamy pinky color. I like both of them, but I don't know. I don't know about you, but I'm leaning, I'm leaning dark pink. I think it's gonna look, I'm into that. The fall is coming, I can feel it. The breeze brings goosebumps to my skin Tonight the whiskey feels stronger Gasoline on hidden desires So
sorry, I'm not talking because this is terrifying. camera died. I'm really sorry. It's on. It looks really good. Ignore the glue. I did get some glue on this side. That's just gonna have to be the back, okay? That's just gonna have to be the back of the lampshade. This is a temporary fix for now. Anyway, this lamp, I would really love a banker's lamp for this desk. So this is like a temporary measure just to like have something in the meantime. So I'm not super upset about it. But what I've done is I've glued it all. I like tucked in all the edges. I sprayed the glue and I tucked in all the edges on the inside there. I don't know if you can see. And then folded it over the edge and sprayed the glue in there and then clamped it and did the same thing there. But it's done. I'm gonna let it set. I've had too many problems with these projects that I think it is the DIY God saying, girl, take a break. <laughs> this is uh, the, DIY, the, the DIY God saying, you're done, you're good. You're, you're, you're good, call it. Call it while you're only mildly behind. So I think it's time to put this space together and see what it's gonna look like with these details we've DIY'd and have everything come together. Feet up on the dash and the calling open road. Road trip classics on the radio. With your hand tied in mine. There's no such thing as time. All right, guys, this project is done. I am listening to the DIY gods and putting away the spray glue, and I'm just calling it here. I am really so happy with how this has all turned out. Oh, hi, Mel. Hey. Good girl. I am so pleased with how this project turned out. It took me a little longer than I wanted it to, but. Is it that life? You guys are gonna be seeing this direction a lot more. I really love this background. And this space can now really wear all the hats it needs to, because not only is it this beautiful filming space, but it also acts as Jordan's desk for him to play all of his games. And it can also be transformed into a workspace for me off camera while I'm editing or working on research for projects and stuff like that. So I am so pleased that we could turn this like drab kind of afterthought of a space that didn't really know what it needed to do into something that is not only functional, but beautiful. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this week. I will see you next Sunday.